on a bus on the highway heading there, and all of a sudden you feel the whole ground just shake. They stop the bus and tell everybody to turn around. I didn't know if my mom had made it or not and didn't hear from her for a while. And then my grandma coming to pick me up and seeing my grandma, you know, in tears and... Your grandmother was in tears? Yeah, yeah, because she, she was coming to get me, and I knew if my grandma was coming to get me, uh, something wasn't, something wasn't right, so... Um, it was a scary moment. Late, late that night, um, they found her, they found her pinned, she was pinned under a file cabinet, uh, and they had rushed her to the hospital. What do you remember about seeing your mom? She had a bunch of bandages on her face, and she had a neck thing around her neck, and at the time, she was unconscious when I first went in. Um, and I just remember thinking, Mom, wake up, just wake up. And my grandma would just hold me and telling me, you know, it's gonna be okay. And she actually woke up, and uh, she looked at me and my grandmother and told me to come here and give her a hug and told me it was gonna be okay. Uh, after that, like, I wouldn't let her go. You know, I wouldn't let her go back to work. I wouldn't let her do anything. So I was just, if you go to work, I'm going with you.